I looked up the definition of meditate on Google Dictionary, and it defined it in three different ways. 1. Think deeply or focus one's mind for a period of time, in silence or with the aid of chanting, for religious or spiritual purposes, or as a method of relaxation. 2. Think deeply or carefully about something. 3. Plan mentally. Consider. Through my own journey of daily meditation and through reading and studying various spiritual concepts, I find that Google's dictionary definition for meditation isn't entirely accurate. Meditation isn't about thinking deeply, nor is it about the opposite, stilling the mind. Meditation is about cultivating awareness. In a blog post published by Gaim titled Meditation 101, Techniques, Benefits, and a Beginner's How-To, they make the analogy that meditation is to the mind as fitness is to the body. In other words, meditation is about training the mind and different practices of meditation require different skill sets. Now you may wonder, what is the purpose of training the mind? For starters, we call what we call the mind that holds our thoughts, emotions, experiences, and beliefs is also referred to as the ego. The mind is the ego. It is the false self, which might sound a bit confusing that we have a true self and a false self, but we do. The false self is the part of ourselves that we are all aware of. It's the part that seeks to identify with various groups and labels. It's the characteristics we use to define ourselves. Mom, dad, pastor, firefighter, kind, sensitive. These are all the false self. Identification is how the ego survives. The true self is behind that. The true self is the part of you that is aware of your thoughts. Your true self is consciousness. Although you cannot rid yourself of the egoic mind, you can make it transparent. You can start to be aware of it and your awareness will dissolve it. It will dissolve the egoic mind power over you. This is where meditation comes in. Through meditation, you start to cultivate self-awareness. Through meditation, you step into your true self and observe the false self. There is numerous types of meditation. In this video, I'm going to go over four. The four that I'm going to go over are the ones that I have used and most familiar with, because I feel like that would only make sense that I talk about something that I'm familiar with. The first type of meditation I'm going to go over is concentration meditation. Concentration meditation is where you focus on one thing. It could be your breath, a candle, a gong, or you can chant a single word. Uh, this is obviously in the name. It's to help you concentrate. It's to help strengthen your concentration and ultimately bring you to the present moment to make you more self-aware. This is probably the easiest for beginners as when I first started meditating, I came up or I came across a lot of things that talked about focusing on your breath or focusing on a single thing. Uh, I would recommend this for beginners. Uh, it's very easy to uh, bring yourself into the present moment with it. I usually focus on my breath, but again, you can focus on anything. You can focus on your cat if you want, since my cat's here. Hi, Hayoka. Can you say hi? No, you're just going to stare like you're going to eat their souls. Okay, I guess. Tough crowd. The second type of meditation is mindful meditation. This one is more about watching your thoughts. Uh, this one I would say is a little bit more difficult because as for beginners, it's kind of hard not to get caught up in your thoughts because the point of this meditation is to not get wrapped up in your thoughts. It's to just observe them and as they come, let them go. Uh, also with this one, you might realize or come across that you have thoughts that maybe you don't feel are very nice or that you would feel make you a bad person and that's not the case because everyone has thoughts out of anger or out of fear or more perverted thoughts we all have a dark side and this meditation will bring that awareness to you and the most important thing if you decide to do this type of meditation is not to judge yourself because it's not going to help the point is just to watch your thoughts and with this meditation i feel like it's easier for you to understand 
more how you kick. The third type of meditation I'm going to go over is compassionate meditation. This one is where you think of a negative event or something negative and transform it into something positive or shed it in more positive light. For me, I use this when I'm upset, like if I'm angry at someone or if I feel like I don't particularly like someone, I will meditate and I will focus on sending love their way or kindness or dissolving the heavy energy, the energy that I don't want to feel towards them. So like for example, like if I'm at work and I'm stressed out and a customer makes me upset, I'll just take a few minutes and sit in my car and just focus on sending love their way because I understand that everyone is suffering. Everyone has their own story. Everyone has something going on in their life. And I don't believe that we necessarily want to hurt each other. I mean, I could be wrong. I could totally be wrong. But I don't believe at the soul level that humans or animals want to hurt each other. And the ones that do, like tigers and stuff that hunt, it's for survival, which I think is different. The last type of meditation I'm going to go over is active meditation. Uh, this kind of meditation is probably most commonly found in exercises such as yoga, tai chi, uh, meditative walking, or qigong. Uh, I also feel like this can go into other things. Like I like to think that I act and meditate when I'm driving. Even though that's, I feel like, might be a little bit more harder to do than versus yoga because the exercises that I just listed off, yoga, walking, meditation, tai chi, they were designed to bring you into the present moment by using your physical body, whereas driving isn't. Driving, since we do it all the time, if you have a license or if you drive, it just kind of becomes like second nature, like you don't have to think about it. Which, for me, I drive all the time, I'm a delivery driver. But when I'm driving, I try to make myself more present, so I would consider that active meditation. But uh, this would be a good way if maybe you have a hard time settling into your mind and you're more of in in your body type of person, that would probably be a good one to do because it definitely makes you more aware of your body. And every morning for the past couple weeks, I've decided that I was going to start doing yoga. Not that you wanted to know that, but there you go. Now for anyone who is looking to start meditating, I have two tips for you guys. Two. Uh, the first tip is don't overthink it. Just relax. Just put the intention out there that you want to meditate. Get comfortable and start meditating however you want to meditate. Uh, the reason I say this is because a lot of people when they first start out meditating, they have a point that they want to get to. Like, For example, when I first started meditating like three years ago, my whole goal was to get to the point where I could have complete control over my body so then if someone poked me with a pencil or a knife, it couldn't penetrate my body. Because I remember like watching a documentary on like Buddhist monks or some type of group of people that meditated to the point that they could do that, and I thought that was so cool. But there is no destination in meditation. It's a journey, just like life. And as you do it more, you will get deeper into yourself. And... As you find out that there, there is no end point to how deep you can get. Both inside and outside. Because as within, so without. As above, so below. The second tip I want to put out there is don't judge yourself. Like I mentioned when I was talking about mindful meditation. Is that judging yourself isn't going to help. We all have thoughts that we're not proud of. We've all done things that we're not proud of. And through meditation those things will start to come up. And that's a great healing or transformative part of it. And like, just, just don't judge yourself because it's only, it's only going to stop your growth. I mean, I understand like everyone judges, but try not to hang on to it too much. That's going to be okay. Just let it go. Let it go. I can't sing, but anyway, we're not going to do the frozen thing.